People ask me all the time, why the Arcturians? What is your connection with the Arcturians? Well, many years ago, pre-teens, when I was very young, I noticed on my right leg, the constellation of the Big Dipper formed by freckles. And off the handle of that constellation, there was two other freckles, one being bigger than the other. I had no idea what that meant. I asked my mom what it meant. She didn't know. So I kind of forgot about it until I was in my mid-30s. And I was in a bookstore in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And I found a book. And on the cover of the book was the constellation of the Big Dipper. And off the handle were two stars, one being brighter than the other. And that brighter star was the planet Arcturus. Then I realized I had some kind of connection to the Arcturians. I didn't know what it was because I didn't know anything about them. So I did buy the book and I did some reading. A lot of it made sense. But really I didn't do much with it until I started to discover new energies. I started to be aware of information that I was receiving. And through various processes using L rods, which are dowsing devices and pendulums, which is a dowsing device. I was able to obtain yes and no answers and some clarification to some of the questions I was asking. And then I started to receive more information, which I confirmed for myself was coming from the Arcturians. This inspired me to make some handheld devices, three-sided pyramids, not four-sided. They instructed me to specifically make three-sided pyramids and steep angled pyramids. So I did. I made these devices, I worked with them, it developed into a pretty neat pendant that I wear almost every day. And then some time went by again, many years went by, and I found myself, I, I created a very large three-sided pyramid. This pyramid was large enough that you could stand in it, you could sit in it, you could expand it. So you could put like upwards of 15 people in it. So I began to realize that there really was a connection with me and the Arcturians. And I wanted to share all this with people. So I asked and re received an answer saying, yes, it's okay to share this information, but when I present it, it must be presented Arcturians transmissions from the group. So again, it's the Arcturians and a group of energies all coming together and sharing information. So that's why I talk about the Arcturians, but I'm not mainstream. I don't, I don't fit into what's currently being shared, a lot of it anyways. I don't get specific information generally. Most of my content, they've inspired me to create videos, short videos that I share across social media. And the thoughts that I share in those videos are meant to inspire you to think differently, to think outside the box. If you can watch one of my six second videos or an eight second video, and that video just makes you stop and think, provides you with one of those wow, you know those moments you get every once in a while, those wow moments? Well, that's what my content is meant to do, provide you with those wow moments. So that's pretty much my connection with the Arcturians. It's a growing, evolving path, changes all the time. Information is there, 
this is one thing they want me to share with you right away, is the information is around all of us, all the time. We have to do the work on ourselves, self-work, meditation, to help get our get ourselves ready to receive. And then once you make that first step and make the connection, it's there all the time. You don't turn it on, you don't turn it off. This is some of the thoughts they wanted me to share with you. How I made the connection. And what I do with it. It's like my inner guidance system. It's on all the time. Warns me when I'm in danger. Makes me aware of wonderful positive things. This is what I hope to share with you.